Hi, my name is Sarah Merkulius, and I was raised here on St. George with my adopted parents, Eos and Catherine Filmonov. During the time I was growing up at an early age, I grew up on native foods here, like seal meat, halibut, and assortments of birds. My mother taught me many different kinds of native dishes in my teen years. She taught me how to pluck birds and how to make stew, soup, and baked birds. With seal, she taught me how to make fried soup, baked, ground seal meat, uh, fermented seal flippers, and dried seal meat. With Halbert, she taught me how to make fish pie, fried, baked patties, and soup. She also taught me how to make dough for bread, fried bread, local berry jams, berry pie, and others. I'm very grateful she was able to teach me, teach these to me. So when the traditional council gave me the opportunity to do the food demonstration with the junior high students, I was glad to do so. I told the students, Ashley Merkuliev, Carmen Filomonov, and William McKenna that I was going to show them how to cook seal meat and fried bread. Also, I told them that my recipes changed throughout the years with trying different kinds of seasoning. With the help of Marge Lesnikoff and Gloria Stepton, we began preparing seal soup, seal with gravy, fried seal liver hearts, and fried bread. Showed the student how to clean and cut the seal meat and the hearts and livers. Uh, taught them how to make bread dough for fried bread. Marge showed them what was needed to make seal soup. I taught them how to fry seal meat and add seasonings. We started off at 2 p.m. to begin our food demo, a demonstration of traditional foods. Mark Lesenkoff, Gloria Stepton, and myself cleaned most of the seal meat needed to make seal soup, seal meat with gravy, rice, hearts, and livers. Left some seal meat for the students to cut when they arrived at 3 p.m. after school. When they arrived, I showed them how to clean and cut up the seal meat. Then we added part of the, seal, uh, part of the cut seal meat to the boiling water to make the seal soup. Next, I showed them how to make bread dough in a smaller portion using milk, yeast, eggs, sugar, and flour. Then they kneaded the dough afterwards. Next, Mark showed them what was added to the soup onions, carrots, potatoes, rice, tomato sauce, and seasonings. Simmered for an hour, stirring and checking the, for tenderness. Then we start frying the allotics, uh, fried bread, showing the sto students how I pinch the dough off and pat, pat it down and put it into hot oil, which I didn't let them do because of the hot oil. After that was done, we continued on to make fried seal meat with gravy. I fried the seal meat in oil and added onion, garlic powder, pepper, people young cubes, L and P sauce. I don't usually have measurements for how much I add to the meals. I just kind of eyeball it. When tender, I added water to cover the meat and added kitchen bo bouquet. When it started to boil, I added cornstarch to thicken. Had the students watch and stir the meat. Then they trimmed the hearts and livers and cubed, cubed them. Marge cooked the flour-coated hearts first, and later she put in the livers since they cook a shorter time. Then the students set up the service area to serve the people that showed up for the sampling. We served the seal meat with gravy over rice with hearts and livers, fried bread, and seal soup. Twenty-four people showed up for, to enjoy the sampling. When, what I learned from the demonstration is that it's great to teach the young students how to cook native food uh, my way, uh, how I was raised. Thank you.